In this video, we'll discuss how to solve simple exponential equations. The general principle is that if we have an equation where the left-hand side and the right-hand side both look like exponential terms, and the bases are the same, then the exponents have to be equal. So that general rule is going to help us solve a fair number of these exponential equations. Let's look at an example. If we wanted to solve the equation 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the x plus 3, well, then this is exactly the situation that we're talking about here. So we have a to the b equals a to the c, and the a's are the same, 2 in this case. So that means that the exponents have to be equal, and so we can just get rid of the 2's. And so we just have the equation 2x equals x plus 3. We'll simply subtract x from both sides, and so we get x equals 3. So that wasn't too bad. Let's try another one. This time we have 4 to the x minus 1 equals 2 to the 3x plus 1. And now, at first glance, it looks like we're not in the situation that we're trying to find here. We don't have the same base on the left-hand side as on the right-hand side. But we can make the bases be the same by realizing that 4 is simply 2 squared. And then all we have to do is simplify the left-hand side. And what we realize here is that we have a power raised to a power, so we're going to multiply those exponents. That gives us 2 to the 2x minus 2 equals 2 to the 3x plus 1. And now, after doing that work, we realize that the bases are the same, and so we can get rid of them and just set the exponents equal to each other. 2x minus 2 equals 3x plus 1. So now let's subtract 3x from both sides. And let's add 2 to both sides. That gives us negative x on the left and positive 3 on the right, and so that means the solution is x equals negative 3. Now let's try this one. So we have 1 third to the x minus 1 equals 9 to the 3x minus 2. And again, the idea here is that if the bases on the left and the right hand side aren't the same, let's see what we can do to make them be the same. So in this case, I can think of a way to write 1 third and also a way to write 9, both with a base of 3. I can rewrite 1 third as 3 to the minus 1, and I can rewrite 9 as 3 squared. And once I simplify, I'll be able to set the exponents equal to each other like we've done in the previous examples. So on the left-hand side, when I multiply negative 1 by the quantity x minus 1, I get negative x plus 1. And on the right-hand side, I'm going to multiply 2 times 3x minus 2, and that gives me 6x minus 4. Now the bases are the same, and so now I can set the exponents equal to each other. Negative x plus 1 equals 6x minus 4. I'm running out of room down here, so I'm going to move up here. It was minus x plus 1 equals 6x minus 4. Let's see. I'll add x to both sides, and I'll add 4 to both sides. That gives me 5 equals 7x, and so that means that the solution is x equals 5 sevenths.